Today, Kevin and I are gonna be opening this box. It's, it looks like it's called Boxu, but I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It is from Japan. It's one of those uh, uh, Japanese uh, snack boxes. They like have a like- mystery box. Yeah, so a food of like salty and sweet treats. And, and Kevin and I have gotten these boxes before. We've been sent them from different companies. We actually ordered Munch Pack um, ourselves, paid for it and got it. Um, this one, my, uh, my dad's wife uh, got, she ordered one box and she got her first box at a great discount. It was $20. So dad said that she got this box in the mail and they had charged her $40 for so it. So she canceled it. After so she box. canceled it. So <laughs> she only got a deal on the first box yeah. and she's like, That's how they get you. yeah, we're not, we're canceling that box. So let's they see are what little, you get. All, all these little munch boxes are kind of. I expensive. think they are. Happy snacking. Share your box to experience for a chance to win a free box. So it's for a chance to win. Um, so yeah, these snack boxes are, uh, are pricey. And if it's things like this that are uncommon, then it might be worth the money to get it. If it's things that I could go to the store and get myself, then I think you're better off going to the yeah, store and getting which, it yourself. We did get one of those. Okay. Yeah. What? One of those where you had to start regular stuff in. Yeah, and it's like, you know, that's great. And, and I'm appreciative that they sent it to me. But yeah, if you can go right out here to Walmart and buy the same things, why, you know, why not wouldn't you just do it yourself? So. Looks like it has a book of stuff. Um, this Haunted Harvest. Mm. Ooh. The theme. Fall is a time for changing leaves and comfort food. So they're gonna talk about things. You'll find, okay, so I don't know if we got- We don't know if we got the classic or the, the- Okay, the classic box has 20 to 25 items. It has all that stuff. The tasting has 10 to 14 items, and the vegetarian has 20 to 25, so that's cool that they yeah. have a vegetarian. So do you think we got- uh, There's a lot in here. 25? I have no clue. Okay, well let's see. Um, I don't know that it, it, uh, oh, okay, it does tell me. So what are those little things with corn on? Yeah, those two little, three little orange things with corn. It's telling you the name of it and where they're from, so you can't tell what it is on there? No. Okay, so each one of they these things. They look like things, little crackers or big pieces of it corn. It shows you a map and it tells you the name of the item and where it's so from. So it doesn't say anywhere in there? Which I think is, yeah, right here. That is a butter corn rice cracker. I thought it looked like a cracker. Okay. okay. So you got these little ghost things in a bag. It just says Happy Halloween. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just pull everything out and then we'll figure out what it is. Oh, they've got a couple of them. There's another one. I think I saw one like yeah, that. Yeah, you did see one like this. Um, so yeah, you literally need the cheat sheet or you're not gonna know what these no, things like are. Like these are the same thing. Yeah, you will not know what any of this stuff is. Um, that, she's wearing a witch hat. I bet you it's the same thing. Those are Halloween soy sauce flavor. Huh, okay. Okay, and then the Hello Kitty, you think that's just a gummy? No, it's a cookie. Uh, that is a Halloween cookie assortment. Right. Both of those are. Hers. We'll try Those them. are uh, gummy Halloween assortment packs. And then these. Uh, those are mochi puffs and then you got this little clear package of something like like that. it no that's a cookie that oh, walnut oh. mochi oh yeah it's really mushy um you got these why don't you tell me what you've got and i'll try oh here you got two of those Ew. no that's that that is a uh, walnut mochi okay it's mushy and then what's your next picture um, right here Yep, that is uh, kombucha, kombucha pumpkin red bean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Purple black tea donut. And it looks like a donut. Right. Yep. Black tea donut. So we've gotten everything off those pages. Now you have this one. Yeah, those see, are yeah. uh, salt and brown sugar chips. Oh, that sounds good. You, I, you said those. And we said all these. Okay, said that one. This one is this one. 
That is mushroom chips. I mushroom, like mushrooms, chips. but I can't imagine Butter and chips. soy sauce. Okay. Okay, then you have... This. Oh, that is a, a rice cracker. I was going to say, it feels like a rice cake. It's a uni rice cracker. Okay, then these are... Uh, is this the last thing in there? Yeah, those are ramen sticks. Mm -hmm. And then this. That is uh, uh, kom kabuchi. Kabukai oh, mm -hmm. rice crackers. I don't know. These are baby star ramen sticks. Halloween. We those. already did this one. This is. Uh, e E B I and black pepper. And, and three of these, they're like football. Huh? I don't see those in there. I don't see these in here. So is that the last thing in there? Mm-hmm. Are those? No, these are teas. Oh. It says brewing instructions. Oh, roasted organic Japanese green tea. Are huh. they all the same? Yeah, green tea. Okay. Well, as you can see, things look a little bit differently now, including our clothes, and that's because we actually did that box opening probably a week ago. Oh. <laughs> a week ago. Yeah, we just, uh, there were so many things to try. I needed to take pictures, and, and there's just a lot to do, so um, we're just now trying these. But the first thing we're going to try is the tea. They gave us three, um, three bags of tea. It is, I'm not going to pronounce anything correctly. You just have to get so over it. we won't pronounce it all. Yeah, you just have to get <laughs> over it and know that we're just, we're tasting it and telling you how it tastes. And it doesn't matter how, how we pronounce it. It matters how it tastes to, to us. Um, this is the organic hajcha tea. It's uh, roasted. It's Japanese green tea. It's low in caffeine. We've already... Uh, we have it, uh, we've already steeped it, let it steep. Um, it um, has a lower caffeine content. It is uh, supposed to be good with both sweet and savory foods. And it, it uh, says it has a toasty roasted flavor. Hmm. So. It's already sweet for this. And we did, we did add a sweetener to this because. Yeah. We wouldn't drink tea without it. Right, we always drink tea with sweetener. It's different. It's nice though. You don't like it. I don't like that at all. I don't mind that. I never like green tea though. Yeah, it's I don't okay. mind it. No, it's, it's after taking another sip. It, it's okay. It's not something I want to drink. It's all not the time. one that I would want to drink all the time. Um, will that keep the heat off yeah, the table? Um, it's not one that I would want to drink all the time, but I do like that tea. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's, just, it's, a, it's a, just a different tea flavor. It has a tad of bitterness to it. Yeah. That's what Which it is. Most of them do. Yeah. But, yeah. But it's nice. Okay, it's so let's go for the food now. I'm going to let Kevin hold this up while I talk about it. You can open it, and uh, we we should have had a, a, a knife. No, we should have brought a knife and a... a uh, pair of scissors, maybe, and a napkin. <laughs> we didn't prepare very well, did we? You would think after a week we would have thought to get this stuff out, but we didn't. Okay, this is, it's a, basically it has pumpkin red bean. This is the October, the Halloween box uh, from, uh, from this company. So, uh, a lot of these things have a like a fall uh, flavors to them. So this one is pumpkin. It Pumpkin is one of those flavors that perfectly embodies autumn. Japanese pumpkin, also known as kabocha, is the star of this delicious anpan. For those new to anpan, it's a sweet roll with a filling, most commonly red bean that in this case is a white bean paste mixed with kabocha filling. Oh, wow. Well, Since well. anpan can be quite dense, it's best enjoyed sliced into smaller pieces and eaten with a cup of tea. Well, we have the cup of tea. Um, it's very filled I and mean, it's full. Okay, so it said small bite. Do you want any smaller than that? Well, I'm just gonna take a bite and see. Oh, I 
think it's good. Not bad. The, the roll itself reminds me of a typical um, dinner. It reminds me of a, uh, honestly of a bun more than a roll. Yeah. But. The filling's a, a different texture to it. <laughs> now see, I don't mind that at all. It, it's okay. I like the pumpkin flavor. I like the flavor of the, the, the roll. It's a whole. It's sweet. It is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. I would go out and buy a whole box of them. Mm -hmm. but, but it's okay. I can eat that though. I can eat that whole thing. I think that's very good. The next one is a Kacha Black Tea Donut. This is a product of Tokyo. And it is. Oh, it's a number to tell me what page number. Oh. Um, yeah, I had to. Yeah, I put page numbers on the backs of these. So, you know, when it's in a different language, uh, well, it, this book is in a different language. But when the packages are in different languages, I don't know. My mind wants to organize. So I organize them. The donut. So, this delicious donut is the fall dessert of our dreams. Black tea leaves are infused into the batter to create a dense, creamy donut that melts in your mouth to reveal the aromatic flavor of royal milk tea. So right As right, black right. tea has a more floral flavor, we recommend pairing this donut with an earthy tea. So they're wanting you to pair them with tea. Okay, so black tea. Now it scared me because it said floral, and I'm not a floral and food person. Mm. It's okay. Not bad. I, I get the floor though. It takes a, a minute. Yeah. Will you give me a drink of that too? It does take a minute to get up. Um, but. I'm just shifting stuff. Okay. And yeah, that tea's definitely not something I want all the time. Will you put that back over there? Um, that uh, donut does have a floral taste to it, and it's not anything like. It's not like your rose or your lavender or anything like that. It's just, it, it is like you've, it, it didn't affect me at all when I first put it in my mouth, but then the, the flavor that you're left over with yeah, is an overall stuff. floral flavor. Um, I, I like the texture of it. I yeah. thought the texture of yeah, it was it's good. Okay. That would like not sugary, be something I would get. A sugary like feel out them. Okay, the next thing is a uh, Karumi Walnut Mochi. A great start for any person new to the adorably squishy joys of mochi. With a light flavor and interesting texture from the addition of chopped walnuts kneaded throughout the dough, this little rectangular mochi will make a mochi lover out of you. We love the faint notes of soy sauce. Hmm, soy sauce. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, with the sugary coating. Interesting. Kind of sticky. And it tells you on this in this book, like this is vegetarian. Um, the let's see, everything we've had so far has been vegetarian. That wasn't bad. Uh oh, -uh. I think that's good. Well, it's not overly sweet, but it's not bad. It's very, uh, it's like a really sticky, soft gummy. Honestly, though, I didn't get any little chopped walnuts. No, I think it's just, um, I don't see any in the eating. I didn't get any pieces of chopped walnuts, but I like that quite a yeah. bit. Well, it says, I thought they were said chopped walnuts were infused. Chopped walnuts kneaded throughout the oh, dough. No, we didn't, get, we didn't get any. But it was, it was, it has a very good flavor yeah. and it is jelly-like. It, some people would probably be totally turned oh, off Andrew by that texture. Like yeah, I don't think Andrew would care for that texture because he doesn't like, um, what is mm -hmm. that that he hates? Turkish delight. Turkish delight. Yeah. He cannot stand that. So, uh, <clears throat> for me, Turkish delight, it's the flavor of the Turkish delight. For him, it's all about that texture. Mm -hmm. He does not like it. So, this is the Kanako Kumari Walnut Mochi. Lovely, lovingly dusted with roasted soybean powder. This mochi is made with and contains little bits of walnuts. Now, this in them. one does have walnuts in it. 
Soft and stretchy, this mochi is just the right start to the beginning of autumn months with its deep, nutty flavor. Mm-hmm. I saw that walnut in it. That's like black walnut. It says it's sweet. It is vegetarian. Yeah, I don't like those walnuts. That's like the black walnuts we have. They're so strong and, and so, so, so strong. I didn't get a strong, no. I got the walnut, but I didn't get this black walnut. Yeah, it's pretty strong. It's okay. I don't want to eat any more of that. It is a stronger walnut flavor, but I didn't mind it. it it's, but you might have gotten a, a larger piece than me. I got me. a hunk of it. Mm -hmm. I got a hunk too, but it just didn't come across as black walnut to me. Black walnut is extremely bitter. Mm -hmm. It's pretty strong. Um, but I like that. I thought that was good. Okay, the next thing is, are you trying to hold these things up? Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I haven't, I've been reading, I haven't, because... Um, Some things are so small, it's like if I held that up, you wouldn't be able to see it. But if, yeah, if you can, try to hold it up. Um, Satsuma Precious Chips, Salt and Brown Sugar Flavor. It says it is vegetarian, it says it's sweet. This snack is sweet. These are some fancy chips made with silk sweet sweet potatoes. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. These chips are thick cut with a delicious natural sweetness that lives up to its name. It contains star sand salt and refined brown sugar and a hint of salty sweet flavor. They're tiny. I don't mind those. They're good. Mm. They're a little hard, but they're good. Honestly, it tastes like maple syrup. Um, I can see that's kind of syrup. Mm -hmm. To me, that, that tastes like maple syrup. Mm. It's not bad. No, I like them. Yep. I, I don't know that I would want a whole bag of them, though, yeah. because for me, that maple is so strong that you could eat a couple pieces of, of, of those, like candy, and then you wouldn't want wouldn't need any more. Let's see, you've never had sweet potato casserole like right. Thanksgiving with, right. the, with the sweet potatoes and the, like the sweetness of it. Mm -hmm. That kind of reminds me of a, of a sweet okay. potato casserole. A yeah. little bit. And for me, it just comes, it's maple. It, it's a, and, and I've had sweet potato chips though. Yeah, those potato are good. Potato chips. Yeah, that's oh. not sweet though. I don't eat mashed potatoes in case somebody's wondering why hasn't she ever had that? I don't like mashed potatoes. Okay, these are uh, Funwari. Little puffs. Mijin mochi puffs. Hmm. And they're sweet potato. They are vegetarian. It's a sweet snack. Nothing says autumn like the rich, sweet flavor of a freshly roasted sweet potato. This special fall flavor of our favorite mochi puffs is a stunning recreation of this fall staple. The first taste is sweet like brown sugar but it quickly melts into a buttery delight. Mm. Or, did you eat know. the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, it literally just goes and collapses. That's good. That is good. Mm. It bad. honestly has a kind of a floral flavor at the end though. Like in my mouth right now, I, it's, it's a little floral to where I would not eat any more of those. I, I did, uh, yeah, no. I, I, I liked it at first. I like the texture. I like how you put it in your mouth and it goes away. I just don't like the flavor that I'm left with in my mouth. And um, it's it's just too... The aftertaste for it. The aftertaste is floral for me. Just like that donut that we had earlier. That has, I'm wondering if that has something in it like that donut has. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's left that with me. Okay. These little Hello Kitty packages, they're really cute. They're Sanrio, is that how you say that name? Sanrio characters, which are Hello Kitty. They're a Halloween cookie assortment. Now they give you two bags. I don't know if you get the same. Oh, you only get one cookie. Yeah, I'm open both. Yeah, I was gonna say. Have to open both of them. Oh, different cookies. Oh, okay. So one, well, they show in a the picture on here a light one and a dark one. So We've included two flavors of Halloween cookie for you to enjoy. See, I thought there were two in each package. Chocolate and pudding. One's chocolate, one's pudding. So, ooh, so this is the pudding and it has a, um, 
You're not going to see this, so I'm going to hold it up for you. You're not going to see it at the end of the video. No, because it'll be gone. It will be gone because you only get you only get um, one of each of these, and I'm Kevin ate half, and I'm getting ready to eat this. It's good. It reminds me of a vanilla wafer a little bit. Vanilla, vanilla wafer, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No chocolate one has like a little layer of chocolate. It kind of, it kind of reminds you of, you know, this is just of a combination between like a Nella wafer and a shortbread cookie. Mm -hmm. and that one's a little dark. Hmm. It's not bad. It's just dark. I like it's that. It's very dark. It has a, a rich chocolate ganache filling. Mm -hmm. It was good. The, these, I could pack, picture having a box of those. Or I could eat those, yes. A package. I like both of those. Yeah, there we go. Either one of those were I very, like the, very good. I like movies. the pudding one better. but I like both of them, yeah. Okay, now we have Pucci or Pucci Pure Gummy Halloween assorted Assortment Pie. There's two of them. Orange and looks like grape. These are sweet. They're not vegetarian. Ooh, wow. the, those cookies. They smell really good. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my is. goodness. That, um, that Hello Kitty cookie a while ago was vegetarian. This is not. These fruity gummies are making their debut this month in oh. special Halloween colors. So, these are and the orange is okay. special Halloween colors. Featuring orange and grape flavors for the festive orange and purple packaging. We're happy to get these in our Halloween baskets. The little hearts. These gummies are shaped like little hearts mm -hmm. with a sour exterior to balance a sweet interior. Each flavorful bite delivers the concentrated flavor of real fruit juice. Fruity and refreshing. You know what? It's good. very strong like I mean like you're, you're drinking orange juice like you're eating a piece of orange juice mm -hmm. like a little piece of orange that, that's good I like that I like it too because it is concentrated mm -hmm. very strong flavors if if all candy and it is like orange I mean uh, orange orange like you're eating an orange if all candy had that much flavor in each piece you wouldn't have to eat so many. Mm -hmm. That's true. Really, uh, because you sometimes a lot of things. I've said you want to keep eating more and more because you're you're searching for the flavor or you want more of that flavor. This is so concentrated, you'd be really good with one and done. Really, okay. So you get like is, seven little hearts in each one. Of this is great. Mm -hmm. I love the really grape. strong. Mm -hmm. That's a different grape than mm -hmm. ours is, but it's still good. I was gonna say. Almost black currant like. Yeah, I think I like our grape better. Mm, sweeter. It, it, yes, there's this a little. This one has a little tartness. To yes, it. that's what I was gonna say. There's a tartness to it. Um, I like our grape better. Mm. Honestly, out of the though. two, I, I like the orange. I do too, but, but the grape's not bad. It just has a little tartness. The more there. you ate the the, uh, I was gonna say black currant. The mm. more you ate the grape, it does taste like black currant. It does. Uh, the more that bitterness came came uh, from it, but I like them both, and I do like the amount the the flavor that that has. I like these. These are like little corns, like like little roasted corns. They should give these out for Halloween here. They should. We should buy, be able to buy a little package of these and give them out because I think kids would go like, what in the heck is this crap? <laughs> they would. That, that's cute. <laughs> you can go ahead and read about it if you want to. Okay. Let's see. It is not vegetarian. Oh, wow. It is butter corn rice cracker. This little rice cracker features the delicious flavor of butter corn. The dough itself has a corn mixed in and an extra buttery outside that makes it oh so yummy. A little savory and a little sweet. This treat is popping with flavor and will make you as happy as the corn mascot on the packaging. You want a whole one, a bite and a half, or very crunchy. Mm, I like it. I like it too. Mmm, that's good. It that has so much flavor. Mm -hmm. mm, it tastes like you're eating like. 
gorgeous. It does, but it's so good. It's so incredibly crunchy. We'll save that. I don't yeah, that, I'm glad they gave us three of those. They're so tiny that, yeah. That's good. Those are very good. I don't know. You think those come in a big bag like Fritos or something Probably. and you just eat them? I don't know. I bet they're, they're not low in calorie though because they are so better. No, they're, they're very, very good. Kinoko, no mama. <laughs> Aaron G, mushroom chips. Butter and they're soy mushrooms. sauce flavor. What Butter and soy sauce. Butter and soy sauce. Hmm. It is a savory snack. This is, yeah, so savory. Fine. It is vegetarian. These unique chips are made with slices of king oyster mushroom. Yeah, they're actual. Seasoned with butter and soy sauce. This chip's delicate mushroom flavor greets you at the end of each bite. I like mushroom. They says they have a satisfying crunch. Hmm. Oh, listen to this. Yeah, it's very strange because it starts out with a really strong, like salty soy sauce. Mm -hmm. and you end with a very earthy mushroom flavor. But it's not strong. The Arenji mushroom is popular in Japan for its meaty stem and is a great substitute for meat in vegetarian dishes. Hmm. It's this delicious when sauteed or grilled, but we think this tasty chip is our favorite way to enjoy it. That's very good. It's I good. Like it is. You, have, you better like that earthy mushroom flavor though, because you're not gonna like the aftertaste if, if you don't. See, I don't find it that earthy. That, that, that definitely earthy. there. I like that. Kind of dirt, dirt like. I like that flavor though. So. Okay, this is the. This is one big cookie. Dan Rand. Cracker, whatever. Oh, a cocky rice cracker, uni. Ooh. Um, it's savory. Okay. It says it also contains alcohol. Okay. It's not vegetarian. Don't eat that. This fried rice cracker really hits the spot with its rich buttery flavor. Thick yet light, this cracker proudly boasts 100% <coughs> domestically grown Japanese rice. After being fried to perfection, Feels fried. each cracker is generously drizzled with an uni flavored sea urchin sauce to impart the cracker with uni signature buttery flavor. It says, though uni is sometimes a controversial flavor, we love this buttery, briny jewel of the sea. And this rice cracker is a great way to way to try it if you've never had it before. So sea urchin. Yeah, it's really, really fishy. Oh, like it. tuna like. Oh, is it? Oh. <laughs> it's actually really good. <laughs> if that's what uni tastes like, I would, wouldn't mind having that. I like that. I do. I don't taste any sea urchin. It's not salty. It's not fishy. No, not at all. It's just. Um, it just tastes deep fried. It tastes fried. Yeah. It tastes and like salty. Yeah, but I I think it's good. It's like a. You want to drink? No, it's like a. Um, it, it almost. I don't know. It's like a corn and a. Mm -hmm. It just. It, it it's almost corny to me. Yeah. I can see that. I, th I like it. I like that very much too. Yep. I'm trying to think if you could put anything on top of that. No, just like it is. Just eat it plain. That's what I would do. Okay. Next is the men zaku zaku. I like how you try to pronounce this stuff. There's no way the hell you're ever gonna be able to pronounce it. Ramen sticks. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. Um, the <laughs> They're not vegetarian. No, they're probably fried. These tasty fried noodles yeah. really make a bang from the first bite. This maker's history goes back to 1889, and ever since then, they aim to share the flavors Ooh, now these. with the world. These unique noodles feature wheat. They're actually fried in rice oil, which isn't something you hear every day. Um... It's a unique flavor. It includes a good dose of black pepper for kick. Yeah, here's the, I don't know what that is. Here. Now, I did take pictures of each one of these paragraphs in this book. So, yeah, if you want to read the If you want to read the entire thing, you'll be able to pause the video at the end and you can read about them. Mm, 
don't like those. It does have a fishy kind of flavor to it. It's probably the rice oil, the rice whatever. It's, yeah, yeah it's right. M-I-Y-A-G-I. -I. You'd eat the black bit. I don't want it. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it either, but I eat the black bit too. I don't want the black bit. Yeah, it's kind of a, yeah, it's- It's a it's, bunny it's, taking medicine. Yeah, it's different. It's it's not the worst thing I've had, but it's it's not. No, it's not as bad as seaweed. But it's not something I've won all the time. No. I want one of those candies again. Thank goodness they didn't put the seaweed in here. Yeah, we wanted to try that. We would just we would, we would just skip it. <laughs> we would have said thank you. We're skipping that. Thank you, but no thank you. Um, kakamochi mochi rice crackers. These are vegetarian. <laughs> They're savory. This savory rice cracker features, I'll be darned. It seaweed. features seaweed. Yeah, but it's not a full thing of seaweed. Combo. It, it, it says it features combo in parentheses. Seaweed. seaweed. It's just I, little pieces of it though. It's a little flake. Um, which is famous I for- I bet you that's what these little brown things are. No, that's too crunchy. No, no. I'm just gonna eat one. It's so, each, each cracker is baked. It has soy sauce. It has a savory taste. Well, yeah, Bob. Okay. This this little thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They taste corn like too. Not bad. Mm -mm. The ash taste is a little funky, but yeah, I like the actual thing, but it's the, the aftertaste is kind of. Ugh. I don't mind it, but I tell you what, you put that in your mouth and it's deceptive because it's very thick. Mm -hmm. It's a little bitty thing and you put it in your mouth and it turns in, it's disgusting, but it, it, turns, it, it turns into a paste yeah. and it kind of sticks in your mouth. Um, yeah. You would have to eat those slowly. You'd be forced to eat them slowly or you would choke to death. I don't mind the flavor of that. Oh, I don't mind No, that aftertaste is a little. I didn't get any seaweed. Uh, so that's a good thing. Yep. It, that did not bother me at all. It, it just, that, uh, once again, that tastes like a corn snack to me. It does. It's very corn. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is Baby Star Ramen Sticks. These are Halloween. They are not vegetarian. No, these are Is there anything well. more comforting in the colder months than a nice warm bowl of classically Japanese ramen? Hmm. While we can't guarantee or advise that this snack is warm, you can get the flavor of ramen with the crunchy texture of these dried noodles. They have a funky Halloween design on the package. Yeah, that's not all they've done. Yeah, that's that's what they've done. It's it's the it's just ramen sticks with a Halloween package. Okay. Wonder if you could put these like on a salad? Um, maybe, yeah. Or just eat them like they are, I don't know. I just think they're difficult to eat alone because yeah, um, you have to pick them up and, or you'd have to take the bag and, you know. I like those though. I do too. Good. That reminds me of something you'd have on a salad. Yeah, it, it does. Like the little um, uh, potato sticks. Yeah, the little, that's what, yeah. The, that, honestly, that's what that that's tastes what like. I got a potato stick. That's what I reminded me of. It, that tastes just like a potato stick. Mm -hmm. those, those, are, those are good. Yeah. Yes, those are completely Definitely good. Definitely nothing wrong with them. Okay. Last These are... The little cookies? Yeah, uh, I don't know. They're Halloween soy sauce flavor. No. Yeah. Well, you got two of them. This one and this one. Well, it says um, I think they're, the they're same. not vegetarian. It says they're uh, Onjiri, whatever the name of the company, yeah. is celebrating Halloween with a special two pack of yummy soy sauce. Sinbi. Hmm. Two large rice ball shaped Sinbi are wrapped in fun festive Halloween themed packaging with their mascot dressed up in costumes featuring the classically simple flavors of soy sauce and seaweed. This Sinbi reminds us that sometimes a simple thing well executed can be a tr can be truly satisfying. So that you think they're the same things in the package? I think so. It's just the two of them. I like that soy sauce flavor they have in there. It's, it's really nice, actually. They feel the same. Those aren't bad. I don't mind it. They're not awesome. But I don't taste seaweed. 
No, I get more of the soy sauce. It's kind of salty. Yeah, I don't mind that. Those are good. That's something that I can see you breaking off and putting into like a soup. Like a Japanese soup. Not, yeah. You know, Could something be. like that. Um, and last time. And it wasn't very strong. I did, like I said, I didn't get any seaweed, and the soy sauce was very mild. Yeah, yeah, you just get that aftertaste, that alcoholy kind of. The last thing is Atana No Something. Osta, a, osta mom, mommy, like peanut. Crunch. EBI plus black pepper. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. It's not peanut like. They do smell like peanut. It says they're not vegetarian. It says the cousin to our boxu favorite, EB Crunch. This EB Crunch black pepper balances flavor with a mix of rice crackers and peanuts. Okay, that's uh, so good stuff. But packs on the heat with a concentrated punch of pepper. Hmm. This snack is the perfect accompaniment to your next happy hour beverage with their puppy frame and generous helping of seasoning. Elevating a classic shrimp chip, this variety uses Sakura Ebi, one of Japanese's, one of Japan's most rare shrimps. Okay, where where is it? This thing? Hmm? I don't get their like the pepper. They talk about all the spice and pepper and stuff. Their version of spicy must be much much different than ours. <laughs> I didn't think it tasted that bad. It does have a fishy. Pepper. Oh, Kevin. It does kind of taste fishy. I just ate shrimp scampi yesterday, though, so. Uh, okay. You want uh, a drink? Oh, no. oh, yeah, I want a drink. You want tea? No, 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 I don't want that tea. <laughs> Here, you can have my water. I'll just get a new glass. She's had a cold. I don't want her cold. Oh, oh my goodness. That's not as bad as seaweed. Oh, I, it, it's almost. It is almost as bad as seaweed. I think it's bad. And there is a little oh, heat. There is a little tingle at the top. It is so, it tastes like raw shrimp. They saved that for last. Raw, yeah, they were smart. Oh, Your oh. breath is gonna smell like that. Oh, listen, I don't even wanna think about the belches today and what it's gonna be like after eating all this. Do I have to eat some of these orange candies? Oh, let me have one now, please. <laughs> um, mm, I'm telling you. That's pretty, it was a strong flavor, but I didn't think it was that, that lid. I didn't think it was that fishy, but mm. so mm. well, I can tell you, you do get lots of different stuff, that's for sure. This is the box, I looked it up on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description box below if you're interested in getting one of these boxes. When I think I said this at the beginning of the video, but it's been a week ago, so I don't remember. Um, uh, my dad's wife ordered this. She uh, got a special, special price. It was $20 for the first box, and then it's $39 after. So, it's not, it's no longer on special for $20, though. However, it is cheaper. Your first box, your introductory box, is only $31, which is, you're saving some. Does that include shipping? Um, if you're prime, it probably does. I'm think, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you'll see if you click on below if, if it's free shipping. I think it, it does. The reason I say that is because most of these tasting boxes, you, have, you pay the $30, $40 plus another plus six or seven dollars for shipping. Right, and that's a lot of times where they get you. Yeah. Well, where this one gets you is it's $31 for your first box, but then if you don't cancel it, you're gonna be paying $39. Because it's on an auto pay. Because it's on auto pay. So you just need to know that. If you if you wanna get one, just like we did, and have fun with your family, sit around the table, and have a good time, you eat, can. Eat fish flavored chips. Listen, <laughs> children, I cannot imagine them. They, Amelia would eat that and not think anything about Amelia it. probably would eat that because she loves. Would, She'll eat anything. She doesn't mind flavors. She, so. She's our granddaughter, and she will eat spicy, she'll eat sweet, she'll eat tart and yeah, sour, she and she just, no, she doesn't. She'll eat anything. So she probably would eat those and not think a thing about it. Um, but it is a lot of fun to get to try things that you don't see in your area mm -hmm. that you could never find. And I have to say, because a lot of these food subscription boxes, we have seen the food in other places. 
you know, we'll, we've got a subscription box and it's either common things that you can get anywhere or it's things that if I went in big lots, I could pick them off the shelf myself and put the box together. I have to say, I have not seen any of these foods that were in this box on our shelves at, you know, in the stores we shop in, which are regular grocery stores. So it would be fun to get a box, even if you just get one and then leave it at that. Um, we'll have a picture for you of what's left here it won't have those cookies because we ate them all. That yeah, I was, think it's pretty much everything else though. I think, and, and, and just to uh, sum everything up, if I had to say what was my favorite thing in the, the box, it would be those cookies. For me, it would be those Hello Kitty. see it be those orange fruit flavored things today. I like those, yeah. Yeah, Kevin's talking about these pure. I like those a lot, but the Hello Kitty cookies, the, yeah. you know, the, the vanilla and the chocolate, uh, those were my favorite. Yeah. I thought those were really those good. good. And too. then my least favorite was the last thing we tried. <laughs> terrible, terrible. I'll have a special place for that. So, uh, what was your least favorite? Probably those two. Those two. Yeah. The mushrooms, I honestly didn't care for the mushrooms that much, but yeah. I love mushrooms. And I didn't mind the mushrooms. At I all. love mushrooms. I didn't get the earthy like you got. Yeah. Though. So, but I'll have a picture of what's left. And like I said, I took a picture of each one of these pages in here. So if you're interested in reading about all this, you can just pause the video on each slide at the end. And thanks for watching.